earlier than normal. Last night, gunshots at the Latch String Bar and Grill. I'm Clinton. Tonight, we have new reaction. Good evening, everyone. We're glad you're here. I'm Tom Powell. And I'm Linda Jackson. A leader from an advocacy group in the fort is speaking out tonight. And Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Carly Van Cleve has our top story. Carly? Tom and Linda, I talked with Stacey Davis, the co-founder of the group Justice, Accountability and Victims Advocacy, or JAVA, who happens to live close to where those gunshots, gunshots rang out overnight. Davis tells me she's seen an increase in violence since bars reopened after the pandemic. This is at the latch string. I mean, we've got a scary situation in our city. Stacy Davis with Java says she lives near the latch string bar and grill, and she heard about eight gunshots Monday night. Police reported no injuries. Shootings at bars aren't anything new. It's just that the actors, the, the perpetrators, are um, more active now and more aggressive. Davis says she noticed hired security at the bar, along with police officers monitoring the area when crowds grow larger. A lot of the bars are, are doing what they need to do. They're hiring security. The last string has security. So um, I'm not sure what else they can do. They want to figure out how to keep our neighborhood safe, and they are taking measures to do it. She talked with me about a shooting early Sunday morning at Pedal City, where a man was critically hurt. We talked with the owner of that bar on camera. You know, we're committed to keeping this area safe, uh, doing our part, and we're going to start closing at midnight like a lot of other you know, local bars have had to do just with issues with late night crowds. Petal City's owner Asia Ford says she's closing her bar at midnight after the violence there several hours earlier than normal. It's gonna it's gonna hurt us, but I mean, it's not about us. It's about the community. So management with the latch string told me off camera. They too will close at midnight now after what happened Monday night. Bars are struggling. COVID, you know, shut down a lot of them and, and the few that are still open are struggling still. So um, it's it's really a sad state of affairs that these bad actors are are causing them to lose more revenue. It's a community problem. The community has to come together to solve it. Well, if you have additional information about what happened at either Petal City or the latch string, call the Fort Wayne Police Department. Carly, thank you so much. Right now, everyone, we 